another younger one? We'll do that one if you want, that's okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm just going to do a quick live stream. Oh, I'll stand up a race on You're the not in background behind you. I saw that, I saw pictures there. Yeah. I am just yeah. in the north of England. Just so you know which one it's, it's Grim up north. Sure. Is, is Asian, mm. so. I read last week, or a few days ago, I read a few days ago about it. Oh, wait, if you're just watching this, give, it, give it a quick share. It's so cheeky. I read last week about a young English lad who's currently in prison. He's been in prison since February. Now, most people have just... I read the story and thought, really? Is this, can this be for real? Hundreds of British Muslims have gone out to fight for ISIS. Thousands, actually. They've gone to join an organisation that they know are barbarians. They know are enslaving women, raping women, torturing, butchering pillaging entire villages, committing genocide. Many of them have been able to return to our country. They've not been arrested. Like literally hundreds of them have returned. Now, their wives, or the jihadi brights, are on their way back. So I, I read this news, I read this story about a young British lad, an English kid from Liverpool, called Aidan James. And he had gone. He had gone to fight against ISIS. He'd done what most people couldn't or wouldn't. Most people read the stories. Most people found them horrific. So I've just come and interviewed his mother and his partner, which I'll be bringing you that video soon because it all just sounds. He returned to Britain after fighting against ISIS. He's been held on remand in Belmarsh Prison on solitary confinement. For the last nine months. Going to fight against ISIS. Not. <laughs> ISIS fighters return to our country. Not in prison. English kid goes to fight against them. In prison. There's a lot more. To the story. I'll let. I'll let Aidan's mum. And his partner tell you that. You'll see that video coming soon. And then you have to ask the question. It's like. That's what I said. Hold on. So a kid's gone out to risk his life to fight against evil and he's in jail. Rotting away in jail. And again, do you know what comes up? Lies by the police. Lies by counterterrorism. But anyway, you'll see. The video coming soon. And um, yeah, that's it. I better get home because tomorrow I'll be giving you an update on the I Am Soldier X campaign. Just been waiting for something that's going to happen tomorrow. So we'll be finalising a few things and hopefully some good news on that.